Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and this is Sasha Scents. On this channel I mostly do fragrance reviews. I do a little bit of beauty and style so if you enjoy that type of content I really do hope you'll take a minute to subscribe and of course you can hit that notification bell if you want to know every time I upload a new video. Now in today's video I get to share with you some fragrances, five of them actually, that are really unique, different, and these are fragrances I don't have anything like in my collection, and so I really like that part of it. And the fragrance house itself, I was not familiar with. So this was all new to me, and I'm gonna share what fragrance line that is in a minute, but I got these fragrances from Max Aroma, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with Max Aroma. If you're not, this is a fantastic place to buy your perfumes. They're authentic, they're affordable, they have great customer service and super fast shipping. And when you're ordering perfumes, I don't know if you're like me, but when I order a perfume, I can hardly wait for it to get here. Like I can't wait to start wearing my perfume. So I love the fact that they have this incredibly fast shipping and this phenomenal customer service. I'm gonna put a link to Max Aroma in the description box. You guys can check out all of the different perfumes they have to offer. They have so many for men, women, unisex. And then let's talk about the brand that I was not familiar with, and that is Noem Paris. And I'm curious if anyone out there has any of their fragrances. I know they have five fragrances. Let me know in the comments if what you think of them. And so without further ado, we're going to get into it. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, whatever time it is there, or whatever you drink, and let's just get right on into the video. All right, before I start telling you which fragrances I got, let me give you a little history of Noem Paris. Now, this is an intriguing fragrance line that owes its name to the philosophical concept that designates what is beyond human consciousness, which is out of sight. Noem celebrates the dream, the journey, the initiation to the unknown, the distance, the inaccessible, and the eternal. And you'll understand where I'm going with all of this as I get into these fragrances. And as I mentioned, there are five in this line and they're all intoxicating and very, very unique. So we're gonna get into this one, which is Abyss or the Parfum. And I have to share the packaging with you guys because I was really impressed when I got these fragrances with just how beautiful their packaging is. And there's nothing better than start to finish when you get a fragrance and you unbox it and it's just beautiful and then you get to wear the fragrance and just the whole experience itself is wonderful. But this is what the box looks like. And then when you open the box, on the inside lid, you will see there's some artwork in there and then the bottle itself is nice and snug inside the box. And let's take a look at this bottle. And I like this, and I should have mentioned, it looks like there's like some plant life like at the ocean, the bottom of the ocean. But the bottle itself is very unique. I don't know if you guys can see the lid. It almost looks like the head of a snake and then the tail wraps around. Very. I don't know if it was meant to be that way, but I think it's really unique. And then there's some engraving on the side of the cap. One side is in English and the other is in French. And it says, fantasy is more important than knowledge. And so, and then on the other side, it has it in French. I had to put my glasses on because my eyesight is not what it used to be. When you get into your mid fifties, everything changes. But anyway, getting back to this beautiful fragrance, let's talk about this. Now this was named Abyss, is like the mystery of the seabed like the deepest part of the ocean. It's a dive into the unknown, a magical luminescent marine fauna. And the notes in here are beautiful. It opens with divana and nutmeg, as well as some timber silk. And so you're gonna notice when you first spray this, you're gonna get a little bit of that spiciness from that nutmeg, but it's very subtle. The first thing I notice when I smell this is a slight saltiness, an aquatic feel, which is really, really nice. It's very different. Now I have a couple of salty fragrances in my collection, but this is completely different than them and I like that. And then you'll notice in this fragrance, the heart, it has some cyclamen, some hawthorn, as well as atlas cedar. That is absolutely gorgeous. 
the base when you dry down when it dries down you have this musk that is slightly creamy it's very reminiscent of sun-kissed skin and this blends with patchouli and sandalwood so a very nice combination of notes it has a slight woodiness in there but you're going to get a lot of that aquatic kind of feel that saltiness really really well done now as far as performance wise this is going to be about an arm's length when you first spray it it will get a little bit closer to the body these fragrances seem to be closer not necessarily skin scents but they're going to stay closer to the body what i love is all of these fragrances are unisex and i should have mentioned that in the beginning but these are great now this particular fragrance in my opinion is straight down the middle it's not too feminine not too masculine it's done just right love the saltiness in here it's very intoxicating very mesmerizing very very well done and again that one was abyss all right next is a titlan other parfum and this is named after a volcano and we all know the heart is like a volcano it's impetuous and capricious and a titlan can be dangerous as well as wonderful it's named after a titlan lake in guatemala it's one of the seven wonders of the world and this lake is in this crater of the volcano and they say sometimes the water is blue and sometimes it's like green so it's very unique and the packaging in here let me go ahead and show you that you'll notice a little bird and then in the background is a volcano so i love the way this looks i think it's really pretty and then here it is now all of the bottles look the same you can tell the difference is the names in the front you'll notice the name of the fragrance and then it says no m on the bottom I don't, let me see if I can show you guys this. If I bring it close enough to the camera if you can actually see that or not. Hopefully you can. But this is a really nice fragrance. This one opens with some Ylang Ylang. So if you enjoy Ylang Ylang, you'll really like this one a lot. And then the heart of this has this mimosa as well as patchouli and amber. Now, to me, I find this very, very interesting. You would think when you say volcano, you would have something that would be smoky. This feels very floral to me. It's softly floral. It is powdery. Not something I would think of a volcano when I smell this, but it's beautiful. And then in the base, when this warms up on your skin, you're getting this gorgeous bourbon vanilla as well as amber. In my opinion, this particular fragrance leans slightly feminine, but a guy can totally pull this off. I know men that wear fragrances with florals in there and it just smells incredible. So don't be intimidated because I say it leans slightly feminine. Guys, you can pull this one off. I think it's a stunning fragrance very very unique now this one when you first spray it it's going to be a little bit past an arm's length but then it quickly gets closer to this to your body it's going to be like this bubble around you so people are going to get wafts of this they're going to be able to pick up on that bourbon vanilla which is very very intoxicating with just slight hints of florals in the dry downs but it's going to be more floral in the opening but an all-around really really nice fragrance and again that was a titlan or the parfum all right, next is Kalahari, other parfum, and I got to show the packaging on this. This is gorgeous as well. There's like a little monkey in the background. I love the use of color, the orange with the gold. Really, really nice. All right, let's talk about this particular fragrance. Now, this was named after the hottest part of the desert in Africa, the Kalahari. This gives the feeling of osmosis, and we all know the African desert has some of the hottest temperatures. And let me just tell you, this fragrance is hot in a good way. Like it's just this stunning, fantastic fragrance. Now I've worn this one quite a bit. I've had it less than a week. We've had some really hot temperatures here in Southern California. It went up to like 109 the other day, I think. But I wore this, loved it, just really impressed with this one in particular and let's talk about the notes in here if you love saffron and cardamom you'll really enjoy this one it opens with a soft 
saffron so it's not overpowering but you're going to pick it up that blends beautifully with this cardamom but you're also getting this smokiness right from the beginning which i really like and for those of you who know me well i love fragrances with a smokiness in there i feel like it's really sultry smells incredible and then in the heart you're getting some ambrette some labdanum as well as cedar and then the dry down this is where you get this beautiful incense and i think a lot of where this smokiness is coming from and then there's some cashmere and, and musk i really love this one i find it to be extremely intoxicating now this one in my opinion goes straight down the middle perfect for a guy gal it's it doesn't lean too feminine doesn't lean too masculine i think it's done just right i love the soft spiciness in here again sultry smoky seductive just absolutely intoxicating to say the least performance wise this is probably past an arm's length when you first spray it because it has that smoky spiciness this is really going to catch attention of those around you but then it will get a little bit closer to the body and you'll have this bubble around you that you'll get wafts throughout the day people nearby are going to get wafts of this and you're probably going to get a lot of compliments with this particular fragrance it's just this fantastic smoldering delicious fragrance and again that one was kalahari all right next i have a small sprayer of divine part eau de parfum and i love that it's in this easy portable little sprayer that you can throw in your bag and this one is not necessarily a place this one's a little more abstract it's more like love and sometimes love is hard to attain. Maybe you love someone, they don't love you back. You're trying to win them over. We know that love is exhilarating. It's passionate. It's a unique celestial and powerful sensation. It's the most beautiful memory that we can obtain. So I really like that whole feel and I think it fits perfectly with the notes in here because this opens with a really beautiful Ylang Ylang from Madagascar. Mm, it's very different. It almost smells to me like lipstick, like a cosmetic almost, but it's got some hints of florals going on in the background. Now in the heart of this particular fragrance, you have um, iris butter from Florence. And then in the base, there's this white musk. Now this fragrance has, like I said, that lipsticky feel to it. I would say this particular fragrance, in my opinion, leans a little more on the feminine side just because of that cosmetic feel but i do that dissipates pretty quickly after about a half an hour you're going to start to be able to pick up more on this fresh kind of floral notes if that makes sense yeah like clean florals so it's done very very well projection wise this is going to be closer to the body when you first spray this it's going to come close in it's not going to be one of those loud bold fragrances and i don't think any of these are really loud and bold they're more intimate something that you can enjoy and someone who's really close to you can enjoy but very very well done and again that was divine part all right and the last fragrance i'm going to talk about which is also in a sprayer this is nika or the parfum and this is like a hidden treasure a long secret intact and pure and this is named after the crystal caves in nika mexico this to me is very very different now this is not particularly one of those fragrances that i would be would gravitate to this is more earthy it's kind of like a damp earthiness but it smells good it's got some spiciness to it there's also a little bit of a grapefruit note in here which is slightly bitter but sweet at the same time which mixes with cloves some pink berries very different and then in the heart is where lavender peeks through and then it mixes with some geranium as well as cedar and then the base is where you're going to get this oak moss which is where i think this almost this damp earthiness comes from that blends really nicely with patchouli and you're going to pick up on the patchouli it's not overpowering but it's definitely noticeable and mixes with benzoin very different smelling in my opinion this one would probably lean more on the masculine side a woman could certainly pull this one off the dry down is very different in this one 
it opens very like damp earthy and then it dries down you're gonna get a little bit more of that patchouli it warms up on the skin it's very unique very different but it does it reminds me kind of like if you go deep into a cave you've got that damp that's what I think they were trying to accomplish with this particular fragrance and they did a good job with that this one performance wise this is going to be probably when you first spray it about an arm's length it does slowly come closer to the body and then it's going to have this little bubble around you that people are going to be able to pick up on. I'm impressed actually with all of them, but if I had to pick my absolute, absolute favorite, it would have to be the Kalahari. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I love this. And like I said, I've been wearing this one in the hot weather and just love it this is definitely one of those fragrances i'm going to keep reaching for but overall all of these fragrances are super nice and there is definitely something for everyone so be sure to check out these fragrances again i'm going to put a link to max aroma in the description box so that you can look into all of this on your own and again let me know if you end up getting any of these fragrances i really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch my videos remember that one spray can literally change your day. So have a good one and I'll see you again real soon.